Good evening, everybody. Jerusalem Jane jumping on to just make a very short video that I'm gonna send out to all my social media platform. People are writing saying, Jane, what in the world is going on in Israel? Well, oh my God, it's complicated. There's a lot of things going on. I just wanna start by saying that right now, it just came out that Israel is going into a full nation lockdown beginning this coming Friday at 2 p.m. They have been talking about for a while that Israel needed to go into a nation lockdown because of the COVID-19 keeping rising here in Israel. Uh, we were up to more than 4,000 new cases a day. Some of the hospitals were saying, you know, this is red alerts. Uh, there were some restrictions in some of the cities where there were most infected, but unfortunately we saw many weddings. I mean, people with up to a thousand people in the weddings with no distancing, no mask. Uh, we saw people going clubbing. So many of the restrictions were just not being enforced. So unfortunately now the government was saying we need to do something drastic in order to try and stop this. So we were thinking, or they were sit talking about a two weeks lockdown, but from this Friday and the next three weeks, we are going into, going into a full, full lockdown here in Israel. You can leave your house up to 500 meters. That's it. Everything is closing down, except if you need to go to see a doctor, if you need to go to a pharmacist, or if you need to go do your groceries. If you remember, Israel was one of the first, if not the first country who did this back in March. And Israel is now the first country who is going to have a full nation lockdown for the second time. This is completely not normal. And what's even more peculiar is that this is taking place during the high holiday. Friday at sunset, we are entering Rosh Hashanah. It's the biblical a holiday, it's the new year, it's Rosh Hashanah, which is very significant. And then it's going to be Yom Kippur, and then of course we are going into Feast of Trumpets, the Sukkot holiday, and all of this is taking place under lockdown here in the Holy Lands. On top of that, something extraordinary is happening because the Prime Minister of Israel is actually going on a flight tonight to Washington DC, to White House, to sign only the third and fourth peace treaty with a Muslim country. You know, we have with Jordan and we have with Egypt, but now it's gonna be with the UAE and also Bahrain. So that is taking place at the same time where Israel is in a lockdown. So of course, this is extraordinary. Uh, changes are happening here in the Middle East. And all of this is taking place because there is one mother of all evil, Iran, who is threatening the nations in that area. And they just came to realize we need to stabilize the Middle East. We need to stabilize against our common enemy, which is Iran, it's Turkey and that alliance. So these nations are now actually lining up to make peace with the strongest force in the Middle East, which is Israel. So, so much is going on. It is super, super exciting. And here in Israel, of course, now we're going to have to take the precautions of being in a nation lockdown all over the three weeks of the high holidays. It's very, very strange. So I just wanted to give you this brief, brief update about that is what's taking place. So now everybody is out shopping, doing their shoppings and getting what they need. Uh, for these three weeks, of course, you can go food shopping, but the lines are going to be massive. I remember that from the last lockdown. So I just want to encourage you to really pray for Israel. And especially would you pray for the Prime Minister of Israel, for the President uh, of the United States of America and everybody taking place, taking part of this peace signing at the White House uh, on Tuesday. There are a lot of people who don't want to see that happen. All the terrorist organization, Iran, Hezbollah, the PLO, Hamas, uh, the Palestinian authorities are all outraged because they feel like these Arab countries, um, uh, the, these Gulf states are selling out the Palestinian cause 
But you know what? They are just tired of the Palestinian leaders being so corrupt, stealing money from their own people, and not doing anything to try and make peace with Israel. So now we are seeing new tides in the Middle East. It's a new era, so it is all exciting. So pray for this, uh, for the protection for all of these people on Tuesday. Pray for the Holy Land. God is still in control for his nation and for his people. And we are definitely living in extraordinary times. We are definitely living in prophetic times. God bless each and every one of you around the world who is standing with Israel for such a time as this. We love you. We appreciate you. Bye.